My tongue is sacred. I speak upon what I like. Protected, sexy, discerning with my time. Your energy is yours and mine is mine. It's mine, it's mine. What's mine is mine. My face is sitting. I don't need no disguise. Don't comment on my body and my hair. Do not reply. Your business is yours and mine is mine. Why do you care so much about whose I ride? Yes. And say that with your chest family friendly. And be your own effing best friend. Okay, we gotta work on the melody, but I'm, I'm still trying to learn the lyrics. But at the end of the day, all that matters is I do not care if freaking Ariana wants to be down there in Bikini Bottom with the fishes and shit. I love my girl. And at the end of the day, pop music is one thing she knows how to do. Listen. When raindrops fell down from the sky. You're telling me I'm supposed to drop the woman who released this bomb ass album? Brave rockin' for real. And I know I said family friendly. Y'all know at this point on this channel, that does not exist. Hello my favorite people. What are we doing today? Miss Grande dropped more song titles, track lists, whatever you want to call it. Hey, birds. Tweety. Can I make a damn video? I cannot wait till I move out of this damn apartment. Anyways, as I was saying, my girl has released more songs from the album, the track list. It's basically going to give us more insight onto the theme of the album. In my opinion, whenever I think of Eternal Sunshine, it's about the fact that whenever you realize your worth and realize that your opinion of yourself is all that matters, you will have eternal sunshine, eternal happiness, because you will always be validated in what you think about yourself. When you forget the opinions of the world or all the noise from outside, like these birds, notice how they shut their ass up. Once you forget all that craziness and disruption, it's that man's baby mama coming for me. No, but my point is, once you realize that the only thing that matters is how you feel about yourself, you will always have eternal sunshine, which is what I think this journey uh, Ariana has been on and has finally found it. And eternal sunshine is just an album about loving yourself and that kind of thing, that journey. But like I said, she released more songs, more titles from the album. So of course we're gonna be reacting to it because I am in fact a pop girly channel. So of course, like subscribe if you're here, like the video. If you have not yet, check out the vlog channel. And yeah, thank you for being here as always. I'm a little tired today, I'm not gonna lie. So if the energy is not <sighs> giving like it usually does, it's cause your girl has already worked two 12 hour shifts this week and I have another one tomorrow. But anyways, let me get to the giggy on us so you can get the gig gag gotta. Okay, so first Ari says, here to deliver some eternal sunshine trackless tea and album cover six of seven, what the, where have I been? The only album covers I know is the one where she's leaning on her own shoulder, which is be your own best friend. But at the same time, like finally loving your, I, I loved everything about this era or this whole theme. Um, my favorite album that she's released so far and the only one I've seen is when she's literally leaning on her own shoulder. So I don't, where's the, babe, where's the other five? What have I been missing? And why haven't y'all been DMing me on Instagram? Cause you know, I don't really, I don't, I can't go through every single YouTube comment. There's too damn many. So I usually just look at my Instagram DMs for like the updates of stuff that I missed. And nobody's told me nothing. So that's y'all's fault. Someone, where are the other, in fact, let's just look. Cause how are we on six out of seven? What you mean, Ari? Where have I been? Where are they at? Yes, this is the, oh, oh. It's giving boy genius. No, but one, two, I, I remember this one too. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe? She would not make the, she's in her unserious era. So she might also make this one an album cover, who knows? But yeah, these, this is my favorite one, but I remember this was the first one that we got. This one does give that you know what I mean? So the theme is making sense, but this one again is my favorite when she's leaning on her own shoulder. Anyways, bitch, let's get back to what we're here for. Here to deliver some eternal sunshine trackless tea and album cover six of seven with the like majestic um, sky emojis and shit. We wanted to give you a few different options that capture the emotional ups and downs of this. Oh, so it literally we're about to be seeing her journey as she like gets on this discovery of self love. She said, um, to capture the different emotional ups and downs of this album, 
each thoughtful created, each thoughtfully created by the talented Kati, whatever the fuck, each vinyl, oh, you're in my pocket, sorry. Oh God. Each vinyl includes lyric booklets, two versions. Each different vinyl has one of the two and exclusive photos. Now available for pre-order. You know how five minutes ago I was just complaining about all these shifts I'm working? Double it and give me more. Oh, we got concerts to go to. We got vinyls to buy. I hate this capitalistic country, but bitch, I'm a victim of it. I will be buying more. There... <sighs> Anna Taylor's about to drop. My resolution for this year was to save coin, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Maybe next year. Anyways, let's get right into. We already see some of them. Eternal Sunshine, here we go. Oh, first of all, intro, end of the world. Her intros, again, this is the woman that gave us raindrops as an intro, as an intro. Don't come for my girl, leave her alone. I don't, I don't wanna hear nothing. She's great. Intro, and that's the title of it, nothing else, end of the world. So maybe like for the intro, how she's feeling in that moment or the start of all this controversy, like she felt like it was the end of the world when everyone's judging her, everyone has something to say, or maybe even we're not even talking about SpongeBob and it's about everyone judging her body. Remember when that was going on? Like my girl has been through the ringer. So I feel like this is her, her moment to kind of just take back the narrative or accept the narrative for what it is and say yes and that's also t um intro and then the second track bye so it's like a hello goodbye Her, oh she's scary scary spice the energy already with yes and to saying yes and why do you care about what dick i'm writing it's now the intro being the intro and bye being the second track i cannot i aspire to have the gutsiness that she does um, track five is called Eternal Sunshine. So I, I'm excited for track five. And it seems like track five is always like, it's not halfway through albums usually, but it's close enough. And it seems like that's always the spot that artists use to like make a statement or make a moment on the album. I don't really know why if someone does let me know down below, but Eternal Sunshine being in the actual track list is pretty cool. And I cannot wait to hear what it sounds like. It's probably gonna be my favorite song. That's how it usually goes with title tracks. Um, next you have Supernatural, yes, and is track nine. That's pretty low. Okay, it's pretty low on the track list order, which makes me think we can't be friends. Wait for your love. So maybe it's about like moving on and how you, after the breakup, you try to still be friends with your ex, but she's saying, no, we can't do that. It's not healthy. But back to Yes And being so long on the track list, I feel like it's gonna tell a story, this album, of like her process to, again, finding self-love. So it's like your ups and downs. The intro is probably gonna be, she's like losing it, she can't control anything. Bye is she's saying goodbye to those emotions. Eternal Sunshine, she's starting to feel like positive again and like hopeful and, you know, her outlook on the world is changing for, for the good. And then supernatural, I don't I don't really know what that could be like. Like she's on this huge high maybe emotionally and like things are going good for her. Maybe this is like whenever she finally gets that deal on Broadway. And then seven and eight is gonna, it's all come crashing down. And then track nine with yes and it goes back up. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. And then I think 11 and 12 are gonna be more lows. And then 13 is gonna kind of um, tie the whole story together. And just like, again, hopeful for the future. We can't be friends. Wait for your love. That, who is she talking about? I th maybe Pete. We can't, or even Big Sean. We can't be friends. Wait for your love. I'm not about to sit here and wait for you to be ready to like love me how I need to be loved. And I also, there's too much history there, so I can't be your friend. That one's going to be a deep one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't really care for that cover in my opinion, but the ruby, the red ruby, the sleeves, Chinese with the thieves, wanna be Chun Li's anyway, me how? Who the fuck told bitch they was me? Yeah, even if Nikki is losing her mind right now, we still do stand. We're not gonna disrespect her as if she didn't like pay the whole way for female rap. We love Nicki Minaj. Um, But that being said, that vinyl is gorgeous. Like if I think it's beautiful on screen, imagine it in real life. We will be buying one. 
And she said there's like multiple different styles and there's booklets, and, which reminds me, we haven't done a vinyl unboxing in forever. Have we even unboxed my sweetener vinyl? Oh God, more videos of vinyl unboxings coming. I completely forgot about them. My bad, sorry, we gotta restart that series. This one I'm probably gonna buy. If it's like $30 at Target, you have my coin. 40 is pushing it, 50, put that bitch on layaway. It's just beautiful. The brown with the cream and the yellow highlights of the hair, and then the vinyl, the still the red ruby vinyl. I feel like this is that girl. This is that girl vinyl. Oh, the photo. She looks like that standing emoji right here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? She's taking his shit. <laughs> the ponytails in the toilet water. What did you just say? Th do you know there's people watching? There's, this isn't just a camera you're talking to. There's someone behind that camera in the world watching. Please favor. <sighs> Professional. Ooh, it's a vinyl record cover. That's kind of cool. It gives retro, it kind of ties into the dancing theme, like kind of the wonderlust eccentric, don't give a fuck about nothing vibe. I like this one too. I feel like this one's like, it's different. Like imagine that on the shelf. Mmm, that's beautiful. No, 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 no. I, I think this one's cool, but the leaning on your own shoulder, it's metaphorical and it's beautiful. So I don't know. It depends how I'm feeling which one I'm gonna get. Ariana Grande. March 8th, so literally in one month. So we have March is dedicated to Ari, April is dedicated to Taylor. 2024 is coming through with music. Okay, I guess that's it. I wish that we could like, or she said it's, you can pre-order it. So let's see, Ariana Grande, um, her merch website. Oh, that too, the merch. Wal okay, it's only $32 at Walmart. Good to know, but doesn't she have like her own website? Okay, yeah, they're only 30 bucks. Low key, I might just go up run and buy both. I might just buy two. Ah, oh, exclusive cover number. Okay, so we have one. This is the first cover. Don't really care for that one. I like this one. I like this one. An all bl no, it's not all black. She probably just hasn't released it, maybe. Okay, what about shirts and stuff? Ari sold out the CDs. 119. Oh. It's giving Doja Cat on the freaking Scarlet tour with this merch. You ironed on some little letters and think I'm about to pay $25 for socks? $130 for a sweatsuit? Come on, let's, let's, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I was about to say, you gotta give me more than that, and she is. The back is giving. The backs are giving. I like this. I don't really like the font on this one necessarily. The front. I like this font more than this font, but I like the back more than this back. You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay, her merch isn't as expensive as like a lot of these people out here. We love a woman who, ooh, a blanket. While we're at it, since we're here and we're thinking, oh, I like this too. Tastes like candy. Oh, I like that. Oh, I might have to get a blanket. That's a, hold on, hold on. This isn't even the arrow in, bitch. This is positions, but that blanket's giving. It. That's beautiful. Like the architecture and you're supporting Ariana Grande. Heavy woven blanket. And y'all know, I still haven't, in fact, let's look. Um, Taylor freaking Swift, 1989 blanket. Cause I wanted it, but I was being cheap, so I didn't buy it. And now people are trying to resell it. Blanket. Two hundred dollars on eBay. You can go to hell. The, it was reselling for eighty dollars on her website before. Australia. Like I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. I want it so bad, but I'm not about to pay no eBay or two hundred dollars. You can go to hell. Poshmark one twenty five. 
you might have me. You, we'll look into it. But Ariana Grande, you have me too, girl. We're going to buy a vinyl and I want this blanket. I want the blanket. Do I need to spend like $300 though right now on merch? <laughs> See, saying YOLO got me into debt debt. So we're not doing that this year. But I want that blanket. If I start spamming videos, don't say nothing, bitch. Just watch them. I'm trying to stack the coin because I want, I want some shit. I want this stuff. Anyway, let me end this video. Goodbye, bitch.